on today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, Using the Remote with ProPresenter 6. Hi, and welcome again to the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I help you use software that we use in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host, and I'd love for you to ask your questions, so just do that below the video. You can also head over to my blog, trinitydigitalmedia.com slash contact, and there you'll find all my contact information if you would prefer not to leave it wherever you're watching the video. That's cool, too. So, last week I talked a little bit about using the Telestrator, and my original plan was to use the app. But this week, I'm going to dig more arms and elbows into the app and let last week be just about Telestrator. So, let's head over to my computer, and I'll show you what it can do, and then we'll take a look at my iPhone and... I'll show you the interface there. Okay, so here we are, and we're dealing with ProPresenter 6 and the new remote feature. So I'm not totally sure this is going to do what I want it to do, but I have, here, why don't I just drag this over? I have the remote here. Now, this is supposedly recording uh, in QuickTime Player, but we'll see if it actually does. So, first thing I'm going to do is make sure that that's awake. Okay, now I'm going to tap on Pro 6 Paul here, and that should bring up my password. I actually have the default password, so I'm going to just type that in. Control. There are actually two passwords that you can use. Um, one just to observe and the other to control. The observe password is observe. The control password is control. Very, very sneaky. So anyway, that's what you would normally see. Um, so basically, I have the ability to uh, select either different stuff in the library or select the actual current playlist. So that's what I actually have done. And I see exactly the same stuff in the playlist as I do in the playlist here. So if I click on and can it be, it selects and can it be, and then I can uh, just go through those or I can click on remote at the bottom of that and then I have the ability to swipe left and that will advance it so let me do that and you see that that has advanced it right there and now we have the background let me add the lyrics in You'll notice that my mouse is right here where it shouldn't be doing anything. But as I swipe, it just advances that. So that, that's pretty cool. Um, but it's got a couple of other features. Uh, next, you have the producer screen. That enables you to uh, input a message. Hi, Pastor. Done. Show. And it's actually showing up right here. Here, let me uh, hide the slides here. Okay, so let's show that again. So you see how that showed up from the menu here. I can also um, hide that, which I just did. Or I could put in a countdown here. Let me show my countdown. So that's pretty straightforward there. Works fine. 
Uh, next, I'm going to go to, I'm going to hide that real quick and close that part. Now we'll go to Telestrator. Now, this is an additional fee, but it's $4.99, so it's not all that much money. But this would come in real handy if you have a pastor who has an iPad or uh, they've just recently re released the Android version of the ProPresenter app on the Google Play Store, um, etc. Those are all good ways to do it. So let's uh, go to the one that I used previously. And so we've got the picture of, of Paul's missionary journeys. Now, in the app, I have the ability to um, just do all the uh, other stuff. Uh, upper left-hand corner, I've got the X. That clears out everything the little swirly that undoes stuff. Then I've got um, just all the other things that I can do to enable and disable the tools, for example. Um, right now I've got the paintbrush tool on. Now I can press and hold that and change the weight of the paintbrush. I can go to the circles here. Let me draw a circle. So you'll see that I've done that. I actually drew it a little big. So here I'm actually going to tip this sideways real quick. And let me change the color to green so that it's kind of obvious. So I'm going to draw another circle right there. Well, it didn't change said green. Yeah, there we go. So I can clear that out with the remote. And what's great about this is we see the results up here. You know, I can change it to red. Um, maybe I'll go and I'll draw a line. So you see the results up on the main screen up here, even though I'm controlling it from the remote. So this would be great if your pastor wants to highlight certain things that are going on, use the laser pointer to talk about stuff that's right in this area here. Um, there is a little bit of a lag, but you'll also notice that you can uh, clear this out and all this Telestrator function works without actually being on the Telestrator screen. So that's real nice. So you can use this as a way to get around some of the shortcomings in uh, ProPresenter with the UI and stuff like that. So that's the ProPresenter remote and I hope that that has helped you understand a little bit of some of the power that this software has. Well, I hope that helped you. I hope that you're now clear about some of the things you can do with the remote app and how to um, basically just make things easier on yourself. Either if you've got a pastor who wants to control the presentation, him or herself, or you yourself just don't want to be tied to the computer all the time. If you like this content, I bet you'd like my email newsletter. So head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S, and there you can pick up a church tech gift absolutely free and a free subscription to my email newsletter. There I'll give you more tips and tricks and some news 
about some of the cool things happening here at Trinity Digital Media. If you like that, I bet you'd also like my store because I've got resources that I've made for you to save you time, make you more proficient, and just do what you do better, quicker, easier, etc. And who doesn't want that? So head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash store and there you can pick up uh, one of the great resources there and check back often because I'm always adding new stuff. Until next time, go out and change eternity. This is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com.